Oh, there it is. Number three. What is this? Requires class shadow. Swift killer. Wow, that seems like it might be a really good one. Not like giga good, but it's not a crappy one. I feel like that's one a lot of shadows would want. Man, I'm gonna have to see if that's worth anything. I undercut everyone to try and get the uh early things and I think it's probably worth like I don't know it'll probably get cheaper but man that is a nice find and a lot of money now that I could either start a better bossing build with or actually do what I had intended to do with this build but I just don't know if I want to because this character is never going to be tanky and the damage isn't going to be amazing but we'll see nice sale Hello Rayquest, welcome back to the next progress update for this build. I'm playing in the Arch Nemesis League in the Siege of the Atlas expansion, continuing with the Dancing Dervish build, and again apologize for the birds in the background. When the full build guide comes, I'll record early in the morning to avoid that. But uh, right now, as you saw in the highlights, I found a third exalt. That's still the final one I've found so far in this league. Uh, also got a Doriani's prototype out of Ritual after... <laughs> Uh, deferring it a million times and having to continue running ritual and maps to get it out but finally got it out and sold that for a couple X and as you can see we got a really nice forbidden flame from killing the searing exarch that sold for 12 plus exalts and after finding that I decided that I did want to really stick with this build and try to min max it I was determined to try and find a way to resolve the defensive issues I was having and get in all of the damage things I had initially planned so at this point I am fully switched over to Chaos Inoculation with a double cluster jewel setup. And uh, I'll put another updated path of building in the video description. Won't go over everything in detail in this video because there will be a full guide coming and that would be redundant. There are a couple more items I want to try and find that are kind of chase items that will boost up the damage a lot. One, I want to get a Crown of the Tyrant for my Animate Guardian. That should increase my damage output by something like 50% based on the huge amount of flat added cold that that will give to my Dancing Dervishes. And I want to get a pair of Forbidden Flame and Forbidden Flesh jewels with Bone Barrier from the Necromancer. I think that'll be one of the best options I could get. That'll give me a nice defensive boost for me and my minions, though the minions don't really need it at this point. Uh, overall, everything's going really good. Still enjoying farming the league. Did kill the Eater of Worlds, uh, but I won't put that in this video. Ate several deaths to the big laser energize the spheres mechanic. You'll know it when you see it. Uh, didn't understand how that worked, but I think I do now, so hopefully the next fight on that will go better. And I have mostly dissolved or resolved the defensive issues, it seems like. Managed to work in determination with some cluster jewel help and use some armor flasks and get a nice mastery from the armor and energy shield wheel on the tree. You can check all that out in the path of building. And so far have not died anymore during regular mapping uh, since making the switch over. So definitely seems like the defense issues are solved and I will be able to push a few more levels now, get a little more energy shield and everything and work toward farming those extra items. Stay tuned for the full build guide. Make sure you subscribe so you know when that comes out and I will see y'all later.
job, Exo. 